Hey, welcome to Win Anyway Live. It is the evening of March 12th, day number 40. I promised you I'd come back for day number 40. And we'll, of course, keep marching on forward. No pun intended. It is apparently Big Wavy Hair Friday. I don't know why my hair came out like this today, but uh, you know it is what it is. I suppose I can get a haircut sometime next week, perhaps, once the snow subsides. That's what we're preparing for here in Colorado. Lots of snow. They've been warning us about it all week long. You're going to get five feet. No, you're going to get seven feet. Well, you're only going to get a couple of feet. I don't know. Broomfield, where I live, uh, up between Boulder. We're basically east of Boulder and north of Denver. I'm thinking at most we're probably going to get a foot and a half. You know, it's not as bad. You get snow in Colorado, it's not as bad as getting snow in Oklahoma or snow in Texas, and we don't get near the storms they get on the East Coast. Plus, we've got infrastructure that's prepared for it. I have never been without power for more than a couple of hours. I can't remember ever in my life living in Wisconsin, Iowa, Colorado, ever going more than uh, a few hours without power, and I know that's just been lucky on my part. I know a lot of my friends in Iowa the last year uh, ended up with a power for, for an extended period of time, although that was more for the derecho than it was for the storms. I don't know how they handle the winter storms since I left Iowa. You know, places always seem to fall apart after I leave. But anyway, we're going to be ready. I, I figure even if we get three, four, five feet of snow where I am, by Monday, Tuesday, it's going to be mostly melted because we get sun and we're desert climate. So snow just doesn't stick around that long as opposed to Iowa where it would snow in October and be there until April. So Colorado, you know, it really isn't a big problem. And yet people still kind of panic. They rush to the grocery store because they know they won't be able to go tomorrow. They might not be able to go on Sunday. So they want to make sure to get, I don't know, toilet paper, food, eggs, milk. And apparently bananas are a big deal. I'm not sure why bananas are a big deal. I heard that in my sales meeting at work today. Saw it on Facebook a couple places. Maybe it's because you can eat bananas without power. May, you know, if all else fails, eat a banana. Maybe potassium helps keep you warm. I have no idea. Why, why would people buy bananas? My wife went out, did not buy bananas tonight. But I think she got a couple things for the weekend just in case. So what have you got ready? Are you prepared? Or are you waiting until the last minute? Is your life just a series of snowstorms? See, I had to get to a life lesson at some point, right? Is your life just a series of snowstorms where you get ready and go out and shop at the last minute and hope you have everything you need when life falls apart a little bit or when you get stalled or when you're stuck? You know, when I lived in Utah, I lived with a whole bunch of people, uh, all people who went to the LDS church, of course, who were always prepared for the end of the world. They have these basements that are filled with food. They can survive for weeks. It's amazing. And, you know, I've never been that type of person. And I know it's not just the LDS church that does that. I know a lot of people do that. But when I was in Utah, it was very specifically the LDS folks that uh, lived around me because in Utah it's about, I think it's 40% now. 40% of the population is LDS still in Utah. But I digress. Do you have a full pantry? Do you have a full bank account? Do you have the necessary goods in your house? Do you have the customers you need? Do you have an email marketing list? You know, that's something I don't have is an email marketing list. I had one. I built one about 10 years ago, and I never used it. And so about six months ago, I finally just got rid of it. I deleted it. I figured they were all old leads, and I need to set up a new email list. I need to provide some more reason for people to subscribe to something I'm going to actually produce. So you may be seeing me doing that this weekend. Because you can't just wait until the last minute to make your life work. You have to prepare for it. So Dave Gambrell, if you're watching this, you'd be in you you'd be uh, proud of me because yes, I'm going to build an email marketing list 
just like you've been telling me to for months and months and months and probably years at this point. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Because I don't know what you need to do. I don't know what you want your life to be like. I don't know what your snowstorms are. But you do. How can you be ready for the next one that comes along? We'll see you tomorrow. Day 41 of Win. Anyway, live! <laughs>